Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about if you should get a personal trainer from a commercial gym. Now, this is coming from someone who is a personal trainer at a commercial gym. Also a manager at that commercial gym. Not going to name which one, but I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I've seen in the industry and what I've heard from other people and just the overall state of commercial gyms. So to become a personal trainer at a commercial gym, you don't actually have to go to school for anything. And now that was one of the biggest misconceptions when I was trying to get people to work there is that most people thought you had to have a college degree to work at a gym and you don't, you actually just have to have a certification. Now, some of the people that start at commercial gyms don't even have certifications. They have like a three month window where they have to get certified so they can be hired at a commercial gym without having any actual experience with ever training a client or knowing anything about fitness whatsoever. All they had to do was pass an interview that they could sell things because commercial gyms are just being honest, like being a personal trainer at a commercial gym is like 90% business. Like you got to sell your training, sell your services because it's expensive. Training with a personal trainer is like upwards of $10,000 a year. It can be way more than that too, depending on what level the trainer is and what their certifications are. But the price doesn't always reflect value. And that's one thing that's very, un very unfortunate. There's a large gym chain in Canada that has personal trainers start at level two to kind of trick people into thinking that's a little bit better than a level one trainer. And yeah, like you can be hired at a level two and have no prior experience or knowledge about what you're doing. And that's kind of concerning if you're looking to hire a personal trainer and they've never done any of that kind of stuff before. Uh, you will obviously, if you're hiring someone, you want to know that they are good and they're qualified to be giving you advice because I've seen personal trainers cause injuries to their clients and I've actually like worked with one of the personal trainers that I had under my staff and they tore a ligament in my knee while they were doing stretching. They were stretching my leg and they popped it out of place. So you can have really bad experiences with personal trainers in commercial gyms, but you can also have good experiences. Like I had some clients that had great successes losing upwards of a hundred pounds in a year. And <clears throat> it just really depends what quality of trainer you're looking at. Like if you if you've met with them and done a few sessions to try it out and they've looked like they've been pretty good at what they're doing, they might be safe to, to bet on. If they have a college or like if they have a university degree, some personal trainers will. They're probably going to be pretty decent to train with because they've they've done the education, they know what they're doing, and they put in the time, work, and money to be able to get to where they're at. Now that not every single personal trainer is that. It's it's a mixed bag of apples. You really gotta like be specific with what what you want. Uh, usually when you sign up at a commercial gym, they'll, they usually give you a free session or you can buy like a small pack of sessions to try it out and see if it's wor worth it for you. Um, if you're looking for weight loss goal, most trainers are going to say that they specialize in weight loss. Uh, again, that might not actually be the case. They might not have ever had someone that's wanted to lose weight before. And they themselves might also not have ever had to lose weight before. I've hired personal trainers in the past that have been like very skinny their whole lives and it, personally they just don't eat a whole lot so they've never gained the weight so they wouldn't have to know how to lose weight um whereas i've been bulked up all the way to 280 pounds and i've been skinny as well so i kind of know both ends of the thing of the spectrum but it's challenging when you're hiring a personal trainer because you don't really know a whole lot about them until you get to experience it a bit and they could be a fraud or they could be the real deal it's really a gamble you got to make and decide on your own. Um, but again, it's worth a lot. It's a lot of money you're spending on a personal trainer. So it's kind of a tricky area to know if it's worth spending your money on. But if they fee if they seem qualified, they're giving sound results, they're giving sound advice, and it's not getting you injured or things like that, it might be worthwhile to invest in it. Like I did have some good personal trainers there, but also some not so good personal trainers. It's really a gamble and you got to make sure that they know what they're talking about. They can sound like they know what they're talking about. But again, as I said earlier, it's 90% sales and they could be selling you on the fact that they might know what they're talking about, but they might actually not know what they're talking about. So just remember at the end of the day, personal trainers at commercial gyms are usually salespeople first, personal trainers second. So be very careful with who you're signing up with, but do consider all options, I guess. Like there's online uh, coaches like myself that do personal training and 
do video review things like that online and they can be a lot better than even someone that's in person who you see three times a week so it really just depends know that just know who you're signing up with make sure that they're educated and have certification there's also a lot of personal trainers on instagram that are personal trainers have no certification so the same thing applies to people that are outside of commercial gyms but in a commercial gym setting just make sure that they're qualified and know what they're talking about but thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe button below and i'll see you in the next video